All right, all right. First thing I want to do is give all praises to the Most High God through His only begotten Son, who the world calls Jesus Christ, but His name is Yahweh Shah, the Paleo Hebrew. He's the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and only us. We are the Israelites that the Bible speaks of, coming back to take our crown. But I see we got some uh, Hispanics in the in the background, so I want to break it down to that word and actually tell them who they are according to the Bible. So. If, if you call yourself a Mexican, a Hispanic, according to the Bible, you will not find them words. According to the Bible, you are the child of Israel. You are Israelite according to the Bible. You descend from the man called Issachar. He was the descendant of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And how you got to this place, this land is yours, and how you got here is documented in the Bible. I'm about to read it for you. You are God's chosen people. You are the best day walking this earth. This is the book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 13, verse 40. It says, those are the 10 tribes which was carried away prisoners out of their own land in the time of Hosea the king, who Salmanasa, king of Assyria, led away captive. He carried them over the water so they came into another land. So when y'all went into captivity in the Assyrian captivity, y'all came out. Here is the pictures, and here is the evidence right here on mounts, already documented. You are God's people. In verse 41, it says that they took counsel among themselves that they may leave the multitude of the heathen. Because y'all are a part of the Northern Kingdom. The Native Americans is your brothers. The Seminole Indians is your brothers. The Dominicans is your brothers. Black people are your brothers. We are all part of the 12 tribes of Israel. We are God's chosen people. We've been divided and conquered, given different lands and languages. More likely you're a Roman Catholic, as I am a Baptist. That is nowhere in the Bible. We was given law, statutes, and commandments to uphold and to live by. And because we broke that, we went into slavery. So back to what I was saying about our northern kingdom. It says, but they, 41, they took counsel among themselves that they would leave the multitude of the heathen and go forth into another country, that they would leave the multitude of the heathen and go forth into a further country where never mankind dwelt. This is how you got to this land. Y'all came here, nobody lived here. Y'all went into another land that nobody lived. That's how we know that this is your land. This is your land. Forth into another country where never mankind dwelt. Let me just slide this down. Right. That they may keep their statues that they never kept in their own land because you was oppressed under Assyrians. You was not able to keep your customs from God. 43, and they entered to the Euphrates by the narrow passages of the river. For the Most High, the creator of heaven and earth, he held still the floods. 44, for the Most High showed signs for them and held still the flood. He made sure that the oceans weren't gonna overturn your boats till they was passed over. For through that country, there was a great way to go. So from you leaving Africa to come over here to this land, it was a great way to go. It says, namely a year and a half. It took you a year and a half to get from one side of the earth to the other side. And this was from, in 43, the Euphrates River. So in Africa, you got the Euphrates River. Y'all traveled all the way down and came around Africa and start to land in this place called Arsaret. For 45, for through that country there was a great way to go, namely a year and a half, and that same region is called Arsaret. So America, before it was called America, from America Vespucius, it was called Arsaret. This place is called Arsaret, and this is your land, according to the Bible. 
you are Israelite. I got the tribes right here. That's documented in Genesis 49. Check it out. So, from Guatemala, Panama, your brothers, they come from the tribe of Zebulon. Your Native American Indians, they used to always wear fringes like this that I got at the bottom of my shirt. This was a commandment given to God's people before they got raped, robbed, and murdered and had their identity taken away from them, just like we did. They used to always have fringes. You see it on old Cowboys movies. They had it down their shirts. They had it down their pants. Argentina to Chile, that comes from the tribe of Naphtali. Seminole Indians, your brothers, they come from the tribe of Reuben. From Colombia to Argia, the Incas, they come from the tribe of Asher. We make up the 12 tribes of Israel. And your Aztecs, ancient Aztecas, so-called Mexicans, you come from the tribe of Issachar. You are part of the 12 tribes of Israel, God's chosen people. You was the same people that was led when Moses, when God told Moses, let my people go, you are the same descendants of them people that crossed the Red Sea with God. That's how important this is. He only chose you. And because you didn't do what he told us to do, we ended up in this situation now where we had our nationality taken away from us. But now it's high time to wake up because every place in the world has nukes facing this earth. We're gonna die if you do not come back to your God. I'm just out here to, I love you for one thing, and I'm out here to give you a warning because I know what the Bible say. I'm actually reading the Bible and not just listening to what my pastors have been telling me. They've been lying. They've been lying from the beginning. For one thing, they said Christ was a white man. Oh, it doesn't matter. But how is that? When he, how, is, how is Christ a white man when everything in the Bible was in Africa? Everything that took place is in Africa. It does matter what the greatest man on the, on the face of the earth looks like. And in the Bible, in Revelations chapter 1, verse 14, it tells you he had hair like wool. And in 15, it tells you his skin looked like it burnt into a furnace. Now, if you was to call the cops and say, hey, I see a, a male figure and it looks like he got woolly hair and he looked like he's burnt. I'm not going to get a blonde hair, blue eyes, string hair Jesus out of that. I'm going to get a so-called African-American because I know he ain't an African because Christ was a Jew, meaning he came from the southern tribes, from the tribe of Judah. But no, we don't want to talk about that. It doesn't matter. We're going to find out when Christ cracked that sky open and you see a, a, a black man with power, the most high power, come out. And he ain't going to be coming out here trying to shake hands and be friendly with everybody. Everybody that's not keeping his commandments is going to die. Thus says the Lord. Because the wages of sin is death. Now let me get back into the uh, subject. So, if I go into the book of Deuteronomy, some curses that came upon our brothers of the southern kingdom and northern kingdom. This is what happened to them and to us while we was here. In the book of Deuteronomy chapter 49, because we went against God, he said, I'll put these curses on you. It says, and the Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far, from the end of the earth. So God said he was gonna bring a whole nother nation from one end of the earth and to the other for punishment, for breaking his commandments. And it says, from the end of the earth, as swift as the eagle flyeth. If you look at the back of your dollar bill, you're going to find an eagle. Look at the back of your quarter, you're going to find an eagle. If you look at your history books, from the Greeks to the Romans to the conquistadors to the Spaniards, you're going to find the eagle. The Russians, you're going to find the eagle. It does not change. This emblem is their emblem. Uh, the eagle has landed. It says, as swift as the eagle flyeth. A nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. When the conquistadors came and to, the, to your land, did you understand them? You did not understand anything they were saying. Fifty, a nation of fierce countenance. When they came here, 
and they betrayed you like they betrayed everybody else, they was very fierce. If you look at your history, they fed you to dogs. They didn't care who you was and what you did. They wanted your gold and they made you worship Roman Catholicism. That was forced upon you like it was forced upon me with Baptists. That's not in the Bible. God said, do my laws, statutes, and commandments. Not a religion. Religion is man-made. Every religion. And it says in 50, a nation of fierce countenance, which shall not regard the person of old, nor show favor to young. So regardless if you was old, an old man, or a young man, or a young woman, or a baby, they did not care. Look at the Trail of Tears. Andrew Jackson. They did not care. They came to slaughter. So this happened to our northern kingdom right here. So-called Hispanics, Native Americans. Y'all God's chosen people. And if you don't wake up with the, every place in the world's got nuclear bombs facing this world, uh, facing this way. This is Babylon in the Bible. You're living in the last days. Whether you believe it, take it, understand it, reject it, it's all up to you. I'm up here to do my job to get the blood off my hands because I know what the Bible say and I believe in the Bible. A lot of people don't believe. They say it, but they don't really believe because if I say some things like, for example, do God love everybody? Most people will say, yeah, because that's what they was taught. Well, let's find out what the Bible say because you're not, it's not me. We're going to see what God's words say. Romans, New Testament, and we can go into the Old Testament too. It says Romans chapter 9 verse 13. It says, as it is written, because it's written in the Old Testament, Jacob, which is our forefather, it says, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. Romans 9 13. And then in 14 it says, what shall we say then? What you gonna say? Is there unrighteousness with God? Is God wrong for saying that? Because it's not my words. It's not me. It says, God forbid. And then it says, 15, it says, For he said unto Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy, and I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. So God said, I'll do whatever I want to. And you cannot question. Be, you're a fool to question the Creator, as the creation, especially. So it's not my words. We've just been taught lies. And it's, it's high time for us to wake up and come out of her. That's in Revelations. Revelations chapter 18, verse 4. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins. Come out of Babylon. This is everything that we've learned here is of Babylon. This is the horn that the Bible speaks of. The little horn. We, we got to come out of her. This, this place right here is going to burn. And it says that you do not receive not of her plagues. Because everything that happened here is bloodshed is going to be repaid. God does not forget. He has not forgotten what happened here. He's going to burn this place. This place is going to be burnt with thermonuclear fire. Thus says the Lord. Not my words. But it's prophesied he's going to come back and destroy the earth with fire. First time was with water. The second time is going to be with fire. Uh, actually, let's read on a little bit more. Revelations 18 and 8. It says, Therefore shall her plagues come in one day, death and mourning and famine, and she shall be utterly burned with fire. She's going to be utterly burned with fire. For strong is the Lord God who judges her. God is going to judge her. The whore of Babylon. This place is going to burn. You got to come out of her sins, my people, my Israelite brothers and sisters. Y'all got to wake up to who you are. It's very important. If you don't care, then live life. But I'm trying to get the kingdom. That being said, all praises to the Most High God. I'm going to move on to the mall and hopefully we can wake some brothers and sisters up there. 
Uh, I'll praise it. I'll be out here by myself. Let's go. Shalom.